All right, another training camp video coming at you. Another just little quick uh, couple-minute video. This one's going to be about Tristan Wirfs, the right tackle Tampa Bay drafted in the first round. Uh, just before I get too into this, I have to give credit to uh, Stugatz Lopez, or Lobos, I think is how you uh, say uh, It's a Reddit user on uh, our Buccaneers. Not exactly sure how he says his name, uh, but I, I do want to give credit to him. Uh, because he was the one who found all these clips and pieced them all together. I'm just using that video and, you know, adding graphics and my own commentary uh, on some of those clips. So uh, definitely, you know, wanted to give him a shout out right before I get into it. But yeah, anyways, let's just get into it. Uh, we'll start off with this one. He's going to be moving up to block Devin White right there, uh, linebacker. So he has to move up uh, far enough to try and make sure he can make this play. Uh, but what you're going to see is that he does a pretty good job of this. He does have the footwork to get up to that second level well. He's going to get good hand placement very well. I mean, I think that, again, this is something that Wurfs is going to be very good at, is moving up to the second level. I feel very confident this is something he can do very well throughout the course of the season. He's going to get White out of the way. Again, it is practice. I get it. Maybe if it's a in, you know real game, not going to be that simple. But, hey, in practice, he's playing very well. I know a lot of people are worried about potentially he could get beat on moves, but on this play, you notice that he's going up one-on-one -on -one against an edge rusher right here, uh, and he's going to do a perfect job of just staying with him the entire time. Where the defensive player he's going up against is going to kind of fake as though he's going to the inside a little bit, then try to get to the outside. Uh, but as he does this, I mean, look at Wirfs and how he just stays with him that whole time. There is no worry there. Again, that's kind of one of the problems he, I mean, maybe the slight nitpick you can make of him uh, coming out of college, but I think he's really good. Uh, and I think that he's showing that he's even improving at the some things, at the certain things that maybe he wasn't the best at uh, when he was drafted. I also do, I have to say, I love his hands. He has great hands, uh, just fantastic. Uh, maybe the best hands in the draft outside of Andrew Thomas, who I think had the best everything in the draft. Uh, but what you're going to see is that, you know, a Worfs, uh, he's kind of a little bit out of position right here. I'm not exactly sure how this happened, but looks like because of the blitz, maybe he just got fooled or something. Again, not exactly sure what exactly he's working with this drill. Maybe he's supposed to do that. I don't know. But he's a little bit out of position right here. Devin White is blitzing in. Uh, however, watch what Worfs is going to be able to do, and he's going to kind of just get his right arm out. He gets it on that left, sh on that right shoulder, and he can then just push White out of the way. Again, White is not going to get too close to the quarterback anyways. You don't want to hit Brady, but I think that that just kind of goes to show Worfs' hands, and again, how he can get back into the play by using his hands. Like, this play is a great example of that, where the player he's going up against is going to try to swipe Worf's hands out of the way. That's what he's going to try and do right here. That's the idea. And he is going to succeed at it. But once he swipes uh, Worf's hands out of the way, Worf's is so easily able to just get his hands back on, get in position where the ball got thrown, so he wasn't able to finish off the play too much because there wasn't much play left to finish off. But he had a position where he could have finished off that play because he got his hand placement back where he wanted almost immediately, specifically that right hand. And, like, this is another example where what he's doing is uh, he's going to be going up one-on-one -on -one here against Shaq Barrett, you know, pretty decent player. But while Barrett is going to try and get uh, Worf's right hand out of the way, Barrett just is going to miss right here. Worf's is able to get that right hand right on Barrett's left shoulder pad, and Worf's is done at that point. He can completely take him out of the play. Uh, and so that's definitely pretty promising for Buccaneers fans. I think he's looking great in practice. He's looking fantastic. Uh, you know, I'm a Bucks fan. I'm very happy we have him. He should be a very good tackle for a very long time. Uh, so yeah, that's what I think of Worf's. What do you guys think? And what do you guys think of these kind of videos? You know, I'm sort of just having some fun, uh, touching on some things that can't really make a full video, but I, I do want to talk about, and it seems like you guys are interested in seeing it, but Again, uh, if you guys don't want me to just go back to regular breakdowns, I will do that as well. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.